robot that balances itself on a ball. Basically, now since it is balancing on a ball, it becomes an extremely underactuated system with a single point of contact with the ground. We have a ball here, and this is our structure. It balances itself dynamically on the ball. It has zero turning point radius, so it basically it can move around very freely as compared to other mobile robots. Bunty Bai is actually an unstable dynamic problem. To solve this, we have a ball over here, and it is and its actuation is handled by four hubs. Each hub is consisting of a motor and a 3D printed roller. The to manage uh, friction between ball and roller, we have a rubber sleeve over it, and this tie over here manages contraption. These steel spacers provide the necessary gap we need. We we have a PCB over here, and then we have a battery, power distribution circuit over here, a switch. And some dead weight to increase its center of mass. When we designed our rollers, we went for 3D printing, and our, when we tested our system, there was not enough friction between the ball and 3D printed part. So to solve that, we just made an easy solution, easy to implement. So we got some tire tubes and we put it on a, as a sleeve on the roller, and now about. Works perfectly fine. Our ball is really heavy, so the center of gravity is really low. It, it was at one point it was inside the ball. So what we did was all the electrical electronic components we mounted it upside down above on the above on the second acrylic sheet, so that we could uh, take the center of gravity from inside the ball to somewhere above. We were more inclined towards two research paper. One were one was by E T S Hurik, and second one was uh, from C M U, Carnegie Mellon. I had personally never seen a ball bot, so it was a completely new experience for me as well. And and somehow it was normal here, like those out of the box thinkings, those unconventional, unorthodox thinkings. They were the norm here. You can just throw out wild ideas and. You can get people to discuss it. Traditionally, you just get, you know, कोई सुनता नहीं आपकी बात, बोलते क्या बोल रहा है. But यहाँ पे लोग सुनते हैं, ideas लेते हैं. So the work culture here is like really different and more accepting. All of those crazy ideas you have, or you, if you want to get into any particular domain, be it robotics, be it software, be it machine learning, be it website building, just the stuff that they do here at Ayendra is absolutely amazing, and I promise you won't find it anywhere else. While working here, I remember one of the mentors told me, you are not working on a single project. You are actually working on all of the projects, so don't be just sustained in that one box of your own project. So, if you are working here, you have access to so many different stuff, so many different projects, and you can just chip in, you can give in your ideas, you can even work for them. It's like completely fine, completely free, non-hierarchical. So, just that freedom of doing what you want, just building anything, giving your ideas. I think that's really inspiring. All the projects in that domain are like the cream of the top. You won't find such extremely difficult projects being done anywhere else, especially in that short time. After I have put the E Yantra tag on my LinkedIn, I have got messages from different companies and just asking me what's the work, will you be able to join us, and stuff like that. I'm personally now aiming for launching a startup. E Yantra experience was like. Generating a new me, so it has given me confidence. It has given me exposure. I have learned some new essential skills.